Hello and welcome back again. Today we are going to create this 3D infographic design. Let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then format our background. Right click and choose format background. Select fill type as gradient and make it a two step pattern. Change gradient steps color to white and light gray. We will now design 3D cylinder shapes. Go to insert tab and draw a oval shape. Make it no outline and change its fill color for easy reference. Create duplicate of this shape using Ctrl plus D and align both shapes in the same line. Now go to Insert tab and draw rectangle shape between these two oval shapes. Make it no outline and send it to back. Select all these shapes and create 5 more duplicates using Ctrl plus D. Reduce all rectangle heights and then adjust top oval shape to each rectangles. These will be our 3D cylinders with all different sizes. Now select bottom oval shape and the rectangle shape then union them both. Similarly do it for all other shapes. Now let's change the colors of each cylinder shapes. Right click on first cylinder and choose format shape. Change the gradient direction and fill the gradient stop colors using color palettes. Adjust the gradient stops to get desired effect. Making use of Format Painter, apply this gradient pattern to other shapes. Now let's format top oval shapes. Select first oval and fill it with solid color. It's very important to apply proper gradient pattern to its outline. Make it a two-step gradient and set transparency of right side stop to 100%. Increase the angle until other gradient color changes its position to front. Add one more gradient stop in the middle and increase its transparency to 100%. By doing this way, only small portion of outline will be visible. That looks perfect. Now making use of Format Painter, apply this gradient pattern to all other oval shapes. Let's quickly change the colors of all shapes.
Now we will create shadow effect at the bottom of each cylinder shape. Go to insert tab and draw oval shape. Make it no outline and then format its shape with gradient pattern. Change type to path gradient and reduce the transparency of each stops. Now change the gradient stop colors. Middle must be of dark gray and fill other stops with light gray color. Change transparency of outermost gradient stop to 100%. Place this shadow at the bottom of first cylinder shape. Adjust its gradient stops until we get proper shadow effect. Duplicate this shadow shape and place it at the bottom of each cylinder. Now group each design patterns. This will help us to select them together and move them around. Starting with big cylinder, arrange all these shapes in a pattern. Now we will create text placeholders on top of each cylinder shapes. Go to insert tab and draw perfect circle holding down shift key. Fill it with linear gradient pattern and change stop colors to different shades of light gray. Also apply solid outline with white color.
Place this circle shape on top of first cylinder and align it along the axis. Go to insert tab and draw oval shape. Follow the same steps of path gradient and create a shadow effect at the bottom of this circle shape. Duplicate this shadow and circle shapes and place them on top of each cylinders. Make sure to change path gradient stop colors to respective cylinder color. Go to insert tab and draw lines to each of these cylinder shapes. Apply outline colors to dark gray. Finally add text fields to finalize our design. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.